Oh, my life sucks. So guys, you know, I was just scrolling through Instagram and literally all my peers are having fun. They're going out, they're enjoying life and I'm just here sitting at home worried about the economy, inflation, as calm. Like it seems as though that I'm not doing anything perfect, you know, like I, I've been trying my best to like upskill myself, I've been trying my best like with YouTube but nothing seems to be working and people's lives just seem to be perfect <sighs> alright guys so I know I'm not the only one who feels this way right where like oh man my life sucks my my peers lives are like way better because they're showing us extravagant things on social media but what you need to understand is like on social media you're only seeing the 5% of what people want you to see right every single person in this world like every single person even your idol they have bad days they have bad months life cannot always be you know smooth sailing and rainbows there's no ways because in that way there's no there's no room for growth so we all go through a struggle and honestly uh i, I won't lie to you like 2022 for me has been like especially like the beginning of 2022 like let's let, let's look at it like a start like the stock market like things were like going well and then suddenly things just started crashing like things just Psycho. started crumbling down right so Red. it's one thing that i wouldn't share with you guys on social media like oh man my life sucks you know because it's not really a- appealing but i think now more than ever in this day and age digital age we are i think there's Psycho. so much perfection in this world that now seeing people struggle to attain their goals and actually achieving their goals it's one thing that i think people would love to see more of like especially on social media so yes people they basically don't document 95 percent of the things that they go through in their lives <sighs> so guys i've noticed that we need more relatable content right because if you're only seeing I'm not trying to badmouth anything, but if you're only seeing people like Michali, like on like YouTube and stuff like that, like not a lot of people can afford the lifestyle that she has, and it's not really like relatable, right? I'm not like trying to hate on anyone, but you know, especially if you if you're like an aspiring YouTuber and you've got relatable content, I, I think we need more people like you guys. Like, and also for me, like sometimes I wish. I were to watch like something relatable that's why i try like Psycho. upload relatable content that appeals to like literally everyone the, the normal person the normal day-to-day pe- uh, people because a lot of the influencers they like bragging like they like bragging to us they always come around that yeah man you know i just bought a super con it's amazing right but it, it kind of gets boring because you're like oh okay now what what's next yes we we do get inspired but we need relatable content so I, I, I think especially like in america a lot of vloggers now right they're going to like low quality cameras like just basic cameras nothing fancy anymore Psycho. they're trying to be as relatable as possible and that's what that's what we need yeah, as people the reason why you feel as though that you're underperforming in your life right is because of social media think about this let's take someone that's 26 years old Right, you're 26 years old, you're earning a basic salary or a stipend, and you're staying at home. Right? Most people in the, like in, at that age they'll think they'll feel as though they, they stagnated. Right? They'll feel as though that ah oh, man, I'm not like in my life, nothing is going right, I'm not moving, I'm not earning thirty thousand rand a month and stuff like that. Because now you're always comparing yourself with someone else. Psycho. And you're comparing yourself more especially with people that you connect with on social media right and this is a dangerous thing because if you can think about this right you've got more years more working years ahead of you than than you've lived so if you're 26 years old you still have 34 years right of like if you're gonna take a career path of work 34 years is a long time guys in that time you can do trial and error you know and life is all about figuring out different things trying out different things it's only in those those like that one percent that tries out one thing and it works out for them but in most cases Psycho. we're all trying out different things and we're all trying to figure out like what the hell is going on in like here in life 
you know basically so the people that you idolize on social media right they're most probably like in the 20s or early 30s okay and you don't know what kind of lengths and sacrifices they have taken to get to that point right some of them they do dodgy things others they put in hard work since they were 14 15 years old and only now they're blossoming right and now you're comparing yourself with someone that's been putting in the work for 15 years and you've only done a particular path of fi- like five months and you're like oh man i see myself as a failure those people have failed more times than you can comprehend and others they obviously have you know they won't tell you everything some of them they were born rich right and they had like basically everything in a silver platter and portraying yourself to be rich on social media it can gain you so many followers because everyone wants to be rich quickly so my advice is don't you can idolize what they do right and you can replicate what they're doing like i am you know there's one youtuber that i i followed since 2020 but i watched his videos since 20 like 2014 and you know he was like so awkward in front of the camera first few uh, months on youtube and that's the kind of journey that I, like i inspired like it, they inspire me that's why I, like at the beginning of the video i said that you know it's nicer to see someone gradually growing into something than seeing someone that really popped because when the gradual growth you can see them trialing and failing and it's so inspirational like sometimes someone's failure right and them like have finding motivation and finding the courage to carry on even though they failed like it's more like it's more inspiring it's more it connects with us more because people don't show their failures a lot and it's obviously it's not nice to show your failures but if you show your failures but then you progress it's something that i i think it's better watching than someone who's gonna brag to you like on the camera all the time anyway guys i'm wrapping up the video right here i hope you guys enjoyed this week's upload and i hope you know at least you took something valuable from this video you know um don't rush your life you're still young you still have a lot of time to figure things out trial and error um don't beat yourself too much if you fail because you are gonna fail like in some of the things some of the ventures you're gonna pursue it's just a part of life and yeah if you enjoyed this week's upload please give give it a thumbs up and if you're new here welcome why don't you click subscribe turn on the notification bell because i you drop a new video literally every single sunday and you don't want to miss it i'll catch all of y'all in the next upload Cyclops. peace Red.